Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Before we even get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're part of my family and you know, you know we're like, like all unison in one and, and, one and you, you could be notified when I post a video and just hit the subscribe button before we even start and then continue watching this video. Okay, let's get our day started. I was super parched and there was a boba place. I did not like boba, but I got this slushy, which was recommended by Me. the best. Mango and lychee together. Oof. She was like, "Wait, together? Should I do one each or like what, just one?" I was like, "No, no, no. trust, 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 trust." <laughs> I know when it comes to food. This is just so good. I'm so happy that you love this. I'm having a great time. I was so incredibly thirsty. Mm -hmm. It's really cold though. You were parched. We're in Glendale, the land of our people. It's not the land of your people, Kim. It's Glendale. This is the land of your people. This Boy. is not the land. This is Glendale. Hi. So I'm so excited. We got new couch covers same couch but just different covers it used to be a cream colored couch and now we got poly linen white i'm so happy about it i think it looks so good got some new fluffy blanket it's bright it matches the rest of the house and the floors i got these pillows to kind of bring some color to the couch it is so white it's wider than the walls that it looked like it needed some stuff on it so this is a good start kind of like a similar material than the couch and then we have a throw that we've had before that i got as well to go right here on the ottoman i think it looks nice and then these blankets just kind of threw it over here for now this is what a couch looks like now i'm so happy with it i think it looks so good the material just makes the cushion way more relaxed and then i think we're gonna get a cute rug soon for the living room probably gonna change the coffee table as well we need to hang a piece of art there's a painting that simi and i made actually that's pretty cool that might go well up there but i'm not sure because now the pillows are gray, gray and, and the paintings, paintings kind of like, like black, black and, and black, black and gray, and gray so, so we'll see I I just wanted to share the new couch. Let's get some coffee. Today's like a getting done type of day. Like I just finally cleaned up his grass patch area. It's really cool. He pees in the grass. It filters through the grass underneath onto a pad. And then it's training him to know like grass is where he potties. So he's gonna get his shots this week because he's finally 12 weeks. So that means he'll be able to be around other dogs and we'll be able to bring him to the park, which is really exciting. So I had to like pressurize hose down his pee pad. It's so nasty. And then this is a clean one. And then once you like rinse it completely, then you can put it in the wash. So I did that. <sighs> now. Oh, coffee, 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 coffee. Man. Steamed milk. Dump it in. Mwah. What? Oof. So good. Mmm. Wow. Just so good. I'm on my second cup because the first one was just so delicious and it went by so quickly, like, you know, a few sips and it was gone. I was pretty sad about it. So second cup it is. Gonna do some brainstorming. I'm setting up a shoot for next week, which I will definitely bring you guys along. I'm gonna partner up with this makeup artist and then with my favorite photographer, Jessica, who you guys have met before. Yeah, I'm gonna come up with a cool concept, maybe something 90s. Maybe something old fashioned, a little bit of like Brigitte Bardot vibes. I'm gonna make a mood board. Jessica's coming up with ideas as well, and then we're gonna make something really cool. Hi. Well, hi. Have you seen that cat when they like turn the corner and she's like licking his leg and it's like, well, hi. We are going to do some painting. We are, Arts and Crafts Day, Girls Day. We'll see how it turns out. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad. And we have no direction. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we have this canvas that Simi and I, throwback, tried to do something with balloons. It did not work out. We put paint in the balloons and then we popped them and they were supposed to pop on top of the canvas, oh, but the so paint popped on us. It looks good, it's a good start. But it's a good start. So we're gonna build off of this canvas and make it look super cool. So fast, so good. I've done a like graffiti type hearts with amour, which means love. Little XO. We got a cool stripe going down. Joe's is cooking up something on her end. <laughs> okay, so you can't see them on the camera. Ooh! But I have a, a couple of daisies over here. Oh, you did a really good Can job with the them? blue. Yeah. No, I like it like that. It looks cool. Dude, that looks really good. The cursive you Is just did. Yeah. Okay, I was panicking about it. No, it looks cool. I feel like it's like day and night, you know? Yeah. Like, all, like a little girly. Ooh, inside. this is going to be a sick painting. This is going to be like super graffiti, like abstract. Right. I was opening this my paint and I spilled it on Tommy. So his whole leg is wet. I like washed him in the sink. I got paint all over him. He actually still has some paint on him. I'm so, so weird, but I gave him a tweet. He's such a good boy. Bye, look at you. Josie had to go. So her side right now is still in the work. She's gonna come back probably early tomorrow and we'll finish. <laughs>
finish the rest of this painting. But so far, this is Josie's side. She wrote a little thing right here. And then this is what I have going on. I'm currently drawing a lady. And then I'm going to paint her. I'm so excited about this. I think it's going to look so sick. All right. Last update of the painting for today. I added this woman. We will keep you guys updated on the status of the painting. But so far, so good. I'm really, really liking it. All right, welcome to the first episode of Quarantine Cooks. Today, we're gonna learn how to make something for the hungry boy at night when he doesn't know what to eat. There you go. Yes. Yeah, we're just having oatmeal. This guy's excited, huh? Yes. Hi. Hi. You like can't really see us, but it's okay. Oh, what was that Disney show? Remember where you would never see the parents, the coach's head? I know they did that in Charlie Brown. Yeah. All right, never mind. Anyways, we're down here. Okay, so Mac wanted to know what was up with the old-fashioned rolled oats. That's right. So if you want a late night snack, you're hungry, you want to be healthy, you want something that'll fill you up, something comforting, this is the thing to do. If you want hunger to stop, this is what you're gonna want to do right here. <laughs> right here. So how much of these bad boys are you toss in there? Toss it in. We dumped some in, and then we're gonna do some milk. I don't measure. You wanna just do it till it's like they're submerged. Oh, it's pretty good. But you want it to be like enough liquid so that they like can expand and like soak it up, you know? All right, Mac, what kind of sweetness do you want? Do you want honey or stevia? Oh, I have honey. We're gonna add the huns. So you put the honey in before you microwave it, huh? Yeah, so it can like cook in there and be like nice and like sweet. I didn't know that you do the milk and honey before. I thought you like do it with water and then add the milk and honey. Do you like dark chocolate? Yeah. This is the semi-sweet dark chocolate from Trader Joe's. It's I, I the think... best. Semi-sweet dark chocolate from Trader Joe's is so amazing. Dark chocolate. Isn't it healthy for you too? It's, yeah, it's healthy and it tastes amazing. It does not taste like bitter dark chocolate if you're not like into that. Actually, this is good to go. <gasps> You're gonna have such a fun time. Okay, so wait, cook it first, and then you put the chocolate chips on the top at the end, and it kind of melts into it. All right, here we go, guys. So what, what, how, what's this thing? How does this thing work? <laughs> the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boom. How long? Two minutes? Yeah, yeah, do two. That's usually how the packets are. Wait, wait. Do a dance. Oh, can you do the SpongeBob? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you're really doing it. Oh, my God. <laughs> wait, why was that really good? I didn't know you had moves, Mac. Oh, yeah. Work it, Tommy, work it. This dude ate my hat yesterday. Oh, yes, go grab your hat. I don't think this is funny, but my little brother gave this to me. <laughs> no, I don't think it's funny at all. It's hilarious. I don't. She thinks my feelings are just nothing. I don't, I actually feel really bad. But it's okay. It's yours now, buddy. No, no, bad. He's gonna think it's okay. Now he's gonna forever grab all your hats and eat them. I'm not gonna lie. I did see him bring a shoe up here. Yeah, I know. I brought it back down. It was uh, Simi's flip flop. Yeah. See, I put my shoes away, so I don't have any shoes. <laughs> all your clothes shredded by this guy right here. Dude, I don't even use shoes. I just use socks. A little longer than a few minutes later. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. There we go. Grab your spoon. I'll pause. Okay, stir it. Whoa. Now, sprinkle. How excited are you that you can eat these? I'm extremely excited. I'm actually <laughs> really excited about this. And then the oatmeal's hot, and so it'll like kind of melt. melt. It. Oh and it's kind of nice. It's like half chocolatey, half like you get a chunk of like chunk of chips. The oatmeal is done. This is the big reveal. Here we go, guys. It's gonna be hot. That is so good. It's good? It's so good. It's perfect? Yes. Yes? This took like two seconds to make. Two seconds to make. Quarantine cooks. Quarantine cooks. Quick, fast, easy, and delicious. Make sure you tune in next time for more quarantine cooks. That's right. Wow, I'm so happy about your little meal. This is actually actually pretty awesome. I'm like glad that you showed me how to do this because like I'm always like trying to figure out what to eat around this time. I guess dinner time. You guys go to bed very early. We do go to bed very early. And actually I have to fly out of here at like six tomorrow. Alright, well, thanks for being part of my segment. Absolutely. That you created. All right, so for the end of this video, I thought I would do something new. Um, I honestly haven't even looked at the comments yet. I haven't even looked at what I'm about to read for you guys. This is like super spontaneous. Just opened up YouTube. So I thought that I would read some of your top comments on some of my last videos. See what you guys have been saying. And uh, give you guys a little shout out. 
So last vlog was sexy versus funny Halloween costumes for 2020. My top comment for this one is actually George said I'm your biggest fan, but we'll skip over that one. I love you, Bubba. The top comment after George is the fact that the outfits aren't that good, but she was still so convinced and happy with them is just so precious and innocent. <gasps> well, Shafik, I hope I say your name properly. They think you. I, I was convinced and happy with my costume, so you know, it, it is what it is. My vlog after that one was my boyfriend embarrasses me in public. And the top comment for that is, I just had my first ever Beyond Vegetarian Burger this week in Ibiza. And it was great and it tasted like beef. Steph the cool kid. Dude, I'm telling you. Beyond Burgers are so good except the cool kid thanks for commenting thanks guys for being so engaged and like interacting and commenting i love it like i love reading you guys' comments i always try and like like them and comment back when i can all right and then this comment is on we didn't think it would turn out like this raimundo barrientos said the painting is awesome i would definitely purchase one if you'd sell them Thank you, so nice. I definitely really wanna do that. So like the painting that Josie and I are making right now, it's not completely done. I give you guys some like looks at it today. I'm thinking in the next vlog, hopefully we'll be finished with it and I'll show you guys the final product. And I definitely kinda wanna make a habit out of it of doing every other Friday or maybe some random Tuesdays, do a little painting segment, something super short, obviously so you guys don't get too bored. But I really would love to sell you guys these paintings. So next time we do a painting, I'll do a little like Instagram DM type situation where you guys can just like Instagram DM me if you guys want to buy it Let me know what you guys want to buy it for or something and I'll pick somebody or we'll do something like that um, But I truly I love how interested you guys are in these paintings it makes me so happy I think it's such a huge compliment. So thank you guys. I'll do one more video because this is fun um, This ruined our day top comment for that is when Justin speaks he reminds me of the original Peter Parker by Singa <laughs> Thank you, Singa. I hope I'm saying it right. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed. Hit the like button. So leave a comment. Maybe your comment will be the top one, and I'll read it and shout you out. And that's about it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Mwah!